Hello everybody and welcome to my studio. My name is Lana and I am so glad that you have dropped by to paint with me today. I can't wait to paint this adorable winter scene with you. It's going to be a fast one, I think. Um, this is the guy or gal we're painting right here. Oh, look at that. Such a sweet, sweet face. Sweet, sweet face. Oh my gosh, I love this project. I've got it on an 8x8 canvas panel, but you can certainly paint it on any surface that you want. We have very minimal colors in this one. It is going to be a wonderful painting to uh, paint for a beautiful winter scene. I used Deco Art Americana paints on this project. Look at that. So stinking cute. So stinking cute. I cannot wait to paint this one with you. So let's grab our paints and supplies and let's get painting. Okay, we've got our surface here. It is an 8x8 canvas panel. You can just use an 8x8 piece of wood as well which is what I use a lot. You can use a wood canvas, you can use a regular canvas. So I've got a two inch foam roller. I've just dampened it and squeezed out the excess moisture out of it. I'm gonna put some uh, Blue Haven on my palette here. And I'm gonna put out a little bit of Williamsburg Blue A lot. That was a lot. I'm not going to need near that much paint. This is not that big of a canvas. All right, so we're going to load up with the Blue Haven. Now, if you have winter blue, that would be a really good choice to use as well, but I did not have enough winter blue in my bottle. Um, I really need to get some more. Hobby Lobby does not carry that, so I'm going to have to go to DecoArt and grab some, some more winter blue so we're getting a nice smooth surface on here I'm going to quickly dry this with my heat tool because I want to put a second layer on here and then blend in some of that darker blue that we've got out on our palette so this should dry very quickly I've got a nice thin layer of paint on here. Now if you are using regular wood, you'll want to um, make sure you apply some uh, multi-purpose sealer to your surface. It's going to help your paint stick to it and it's also going to oops, it's also going to keep your um, paint from soaking in to the wood so that means you don't have to use as much paint all right so since this is a square it really doesn't matter where we which direction we're going here for now while we paint it on when we get ready to put our um, project on it will matter so I'm going to get a little bit of this darker blue on the end of my roller. Really work that into my roller. Let me get on camera so you can see I'm really working that in to my roller. So it's blending with that paint that's on there. So you see I've just got it a little ways onto the roller. We want it to be on one edge. This is the sky area. And we're going to make it a little bit darker at the top of the sky. And this, this paint is blending with the other paint that's on here. So we're just going to get a little darkening of the sky up there. Could be a little bit darker. I think we'll go a little bit more on there. So I'm going to load up some more on here. In my roller. I'm going to go ahead and quickly dry this. So I can apply a second layer and get a little bit darker on the top of the sky. Oops. Hit it with my heat tool there. All 
Alright, takes no time at all for that heat tool to dry it. Now, you want to feel it, make sure it's not cool to the touch. If it's still cool to the touch, it's not quite dry. Go ahead and dry it a little bit more. So I pushed really hard to get some of the paint off my roller and brought it down about a third of the way and now I'm giving light, light pressure to just smooth it out. So we've got a beautiful gradient sky right there. I'm not really sure how well it's showing up on the camera for you. Uh, my camera shot doesn't look exceptionally dark, but I think it looks pretty good. Didn't get as much over here because that was the end of my roller, so I'm just going to work a little in there and then very gently, very gently blend it out with the edge of my roller. Something on there. A little goober or something. Smooth that out. Oh, got some, uh, oh, nope, can't do that because I, <laughs> I got paint on my, um, dark paint on the edge of my roller. So, I don't want that dark stuff down here. Wipe those little dark spots off. And there we go. Okay, we are ready to go here with our light color at the bottom and our darker color at the top. It's coming down about a third of the way and then just becoming gradient right at the middle and then the light color is all at the bottom. Okay, so that is the background. We're gonna now spatter for some snow effect on here before we put our pattern on. Okay, mine's dry. I went ahead and just did the rough outline of my snowman. Um, I'm missing an arm over here somewhere. Just a little piece of the arm that we can see over here. Um, and then my tree is going to be coming over here. So we're going to begin by spattering with some white. So I've got a rake brush and we're going to load it. It's uh, loaded with water and now I'm going to load with some paint. Might want to wick a little bit of that moisture out. Not, I think I whipped a little too much out. We want it to be able to spatter or splatter, whichever way you pronounce it, onto our painting. And we'll bring it down around our snowman, down through here. We can come back afterwards and add a little more on here. tree's going to be coming there. And if you get it any place that you don't want it, take a damp brush and clean that off. Okay? Now I got some of these that are like stringy spatters and I don't want stringy spatters for snow so I'm going to remove those off of there with my damp brush. Try to remove some of the stringy stuff. So I think that looks pretty good. I mean, that could be snow, that could be stars in the sky, whatever um, it looks like to you. Okay, we can come in and add bigger snowflakes on here later. But for now, we're going to get ready to base coat in our snowman and get him ready to paint. So let me get this dry. Okay, mine's all dry. I took the time while all my snowflakes were drying to go clean my roller and wipe down all the spatters, well, most of them, off of my table. I'm always worried I'm gonna get spatters on my camera because spattering just kind of goes everywhere. But the effect is great. All right, so now we're gonna paint in our snowman here. So since I've got these two blues right here, I'm going to load with some white and a little bit of that blue and just tint our white a little bit. It is just the lightest of blues and we're going to paint in, oh, too much 
too much water in my brush, so let me get that out because that is like liquid right there. You don't want it to be so so wet like that. So we're gonna paint our snowman in with this color. It's not pure white. And actually, I think I might want it to go just a little bit darker because we can use this color as our shading color. So let's go a little bit darker here. And we're going to paint in our little snowman. His face and his body and his arms. You can go to a smaller brush. I have a very large brush here. It is a 14 flat. It's a little bit bigger than a half inch. And then his other little arm, I drew it out kind of far out there, but we're just going to put a little peak of his arm coming out over there and then paint in his face. Now we'll probably need to apply a couple of coats on here Let's go around the hand. I want to retain that shape of that hand right there, so I'm not going to go over the graphite lines there. The, the arm you can do the same way. If you go over, if you paint over them and you can't see your lines, just put your pattern back on when it's dry after you've got your two coats on and uh, allow it to dry. And, and then just lightly put them on. And if they're too dark, erase them back a little bit. Okay, so for the hat and the scarf, we're going to go with a Rookwood Red color. So we're painting it in dark because then we can come back and add light colors on top of it. Do it a little bit different than we normally paint. Usually we start with the mid-tone and then we um, shade and highlight, but I'm going to try something a little bit different here. We'll see if it works. And we're going to start with the dark value. It's not our, it probably won't be our darkest value, but um, it's a pretty, pretty dark value. And I'm going to paint each section of the hat in on its own. So there's the brim of the hat, and then here is the fun little, it's a stocking cap, so you can give it some character and some shape and, you know, make it any shape you want. It doesn't have to be a solid little shape on there. Okay, then we're going to do the scarf. I'm using a 12 flat now. It's actually a chisel blender, so it's got shorter bristles. And I like the chisel brindle, bristle, chisel blender. Oh, I'll spit it out here in a minute, um, just because of the shorter bristles and being able to take control and being able to manipulate it into smaller places easier. Oh, super cute already. All right, let's not forget the little. These will act, this one will actually come over the top right here. And come down. And it'll have some tassels on it. And then we have this one here that's behind. Behind the scarf and behind that um, edge right there. So that gives us a nice base coat there, but we want to let it dry and repeat all of those colors. So again, you're going to mix your, um, your 
Williamsburg blue. I tell you what, my brain is just not working right now. Williamsburg blue and white to get this um, blue color right here. It could be a little bit darker, that's okay. Um, actually, I think my next layer might be a little bit darker. Let me dry it real quick and we'll just go ahead and get our second layers on. Just going to start that little topper on the top of the hat. Okay, that should be dry. Let me get some more white out. Where is my white? There it is. Okay, so we're going to take our blue and our white. And mix up some. Alright, we'll put this on and see if it's too dark. Okay, that's a nice color. So we're just mixing up a little bit darker. Um, there's not really a ratio, I guess. I could try and figure out a ratio, but I'd say it's probably um, two white, two, three maybe four of the blue. So you can see compared to the first layer, this is a darker layer. So we're starting with our little bit darker layer. I do want to try and cover up that line. So I'm going to paint over the line here. A little bit too much blue in the mix there. All right, let's do the face. That was three blue and two, or yeah, three blue and two white is what I did right there, and that looks pretty close to the color that I did down there. And let's get a nice shape. Make sure when you put your second coats on, everything looks good. Okay. Oh, don't forget the arm over here. It's kind of in the shadow. All right. All right, let's put a second coat on the scarf. And then we're going to get this dry. Uh, I'm going to go off camera and do that because it's just repetitive stuff and I'm just going over what I've already painted here. Okay, so I've transferred on my lines for the face. Let's put this line on here so we know where everything is going. And that one so we know the scarf comes over. Let's work on our cute snowman's face. So let's grab a small round and let's paint in the eyes. And we'll paint them in with white. sure they're the same size. I can tell they're probably not the same size. Alright, for the nose we're going to mix some um, 
I've got the white on my brush here. I'm going to get a little bit of red. And we're just going to paint in the nose this fun little pink color. And of course we want two coats on everything. So you'll let it dry and apply a second coat. Okay, let's start shading on our little snowman here. We're going to shade with our Williamsburg Blue. So I'm just going to side load my Williamsburg Blue onto my chisel blender, which I have been using. I really need to get my other palette out here. Okay, we're going to shade on the left side of the body. This is pure straight Williamsburg blue. We, we're not mixing it with water this or with white paint this time. I'll walk that out a little bit. It's okay if it's a little choppy. He's a snowman. But if choppy bothers you, then get a mop brush. And very lightly mop it while it's still wet. If it's dry, you can't mop it. <laughs> okay, so that's got a really dark edge right there, so we'll definitely blend that out and more towards this side of the project. I'm going to grab my other palette here so that you can see me blending a little bit better. And I can spritz my palette with some water to use. So I'm going to dip into my blue and work it into this side. I've got a little bit of water in my paint, or in my brush, so it's making a nice and easy blend there. We're going to go underneath or around the scarf. We'll be putting tassels on our scarf, but for now we're just going to go under it, around it, just a little bit. Let's grab our mop brush and very, very gently mop that. Okay, I'm going to grab a little bit more. I want to tuck some into this corner here where the arm is going to have a little bit of a shadow. We can go around the arm. mop that quickly because that's going to dry. I did not have a lot of water in my brush for that. So I'm going to grab a little bit of water. Blend, blend, blend. And we'll go along the scarf here. Need a little bit more paint. Alright, let's do this little arm here. This arm. Ugh. Got distracted by my phone. Alright, a little bit of shading there. I'm going to darken a little bit over here. A little bit more paint. It over into the snowman a little bit and now I'm going to mop it it's going to soften it and it's also going to remove a little bit of that paint if you get it on there a little heavy and this can take care of that so we're building a nice shadow on our snowman side of the face here. Now we're blending this color on our palette with our water in our brush so we can have a nice soft float here. I do want to put 
put a little bit more here. Okay, and I do want to tuck a little more right in here in that little triangle area. Maybe a little bit more right in there. And then of course bring this up into this part of the arm right here. So this I'm going to do a little bit of blended out. So I'm going to grab some white on my brush and let it blend with that blue that's in it. And we're just going to very gently blend that. Let's place some on there and let it kind of fade away. I think I need a little bit more of a curve in this arm here. It needs to be more curved like that. A little more bend in the arm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and define the um, fingers a little bit better because this should be one finger here and then the thumb. brush here. I think I'm going to have to put my pattern back on here because right through here. That's a finger in there. And that's a thumb. some touching up here. Okay, that looks much better. Clean my brush out because my paint was starting to dry in it a little bit. Okay, we're going to continue on with the shading. That's our Williamsburg Blue. Work it into our brush. Okay, let's do a little bit along the chin here. I need a little more paint in my brush here. A little bit. Not a lot. I don't want that coming up too far. A little bit more water. I'm going to bring a little bit closer to the hat here. Don't want that, that gap in there. And then we'll come along the edge of the hat. Keep it a little tight, narrow float here. So if it gets too wide, just take the water edge of your brush and push it back into there. Very easy to do. So our biggest shadow is all going to be on the right side. Oop. Paint on both sides of my brush. Let's clean it out. We don't want that. We only want it on one side. One corner. I'm going to really work it in. because I'm going to go around and under the eyes and around and under the nose. And you can go to a smaller brush here. So it's going to be on the right side, a little bit more, and under, use the water edge to remove and clean up around this edge and under. I've really got my brush tilted up, okay, let's go around the nose. That got pretty wide, so let's narrow that down a little bit, and then we're going to go under the mouth. Do it again. A 
You really want this close on the edge of the brush. You really want to tuck some into the corner, corners of the mouth there, but underneath the mouth itself it can be a little more narrow. underneath the eyebrows. Again, go to a smaller brush. You do not have to use a large brush like I'm using. Okay. I'm going to put just a little bit on the arm. Make it not appear quite so bright. I mean, we're going to brighten up with some white, but right now we're just creating our shadows. All right, let's add some white onto our snowman here. I'm going to use a, a stiffer bristle brush. It's not super stiff. As you can see, I can flex it very easily. I'm going to use it dry, and we're going to load up with some white. And... paper towel. I'm just going to tap it a little bit and we're just going to dry brush the white onto our snowman. Now I like for my snowman to be a little textured so you can kind of tap it on here and give him some texture a little bit out here on the arm. Okay, on this arm. Up on that finger. Just gonna tap, tap, tap. And I'm gonna repeat this a couple of times on here because I want this snowman to be just a fun little easy textured guy. Let's go up here around his face. We're gonna put his eyes in in a minute. So I just loaded my brush that one time. Very, very easy. Um, Tapping in, bring a little bit over into our shaded area, a little bit more on the arm. Okay, just make him a textured, fun little guy. Okay, you do want him mostly light out here on the outer edge, so I'll put a little, scrub a little bit on there. I want to cover up all of our shading areas, so don't. Uh, don't cover up all your shaded areas, okay? We're going to now rub a little pinkness onto the cheeks. So I'm going to grab another one of these brushes. This one is a small one. This one is an extra large. You can get these at the Brush Guys. Um, I sometimes have available on my website a large size, but... Um, I'm not sure if I have any on there right now. All right, load it dry with the Rookwood Red and offload onto a dry paper towel. And now we're just going to softly scrub this onto our cheeks and give him some cute little rosy cheeks. Okay, and you can do it as many times as you want. Um, dry brush, dry paper towel, load the brush, offload, very, very light pressure, light pressure, light pressure. Okay, so there's some nice rosy little cheeks there. And because this is a canvas, it's going to pull the and you know create a little bit more of a texture there on the cheeks so I'm pretty done with this brush for now um, if you think you're going to use it again just clean it with some hand sanitizer uh, but if you're done with it go ahead and just rinse it out this one here I think I might use another little loading of I'm going to float along this edge in a second 
but I want to tap a little bit more texture onto my snowman here. Snowman, snow lady, whatever it is. Could be a snow lady. Okay, I'm going to grab a little bit of the blue. Actually, let me, let me remove some of this white on my brush and then I'll grab a little bit of blue in it. my white a little far over here so I'm just going to tap a little bit of blue in there and bring that texture down a little bit into that white area okay that looks that looks better all right I'm loving that little snowman we are going to be lightening him up so not to worry we'll be doing some floating but this gets our uh, shading and highlighting in there very easily to begin with let's float some white for a smooth highlight on the left side here so we're going to go right here take the water edge smooth out we're going to do it down here just a smooth little float there, a little bit here on that piece of arm that we can see. And we're going to do a little bit on the arm and finger and the knuckles. Just take a look at it and see if you need to go anywhere else to brighten up. I know we're going to have to go, you're going to have to go to the edges where you kind of put that highlight on there because it's not going to show up if you don't. Okay, let's go ahead and put the eyes and everything in. Well, I think first let's, let's add a little float on the... Um, bottom of the nose. I'm actually going to grab an angle brush for this. A 3 8 inch angle brush and take some of that Brookwood Red. A little bit more. Work it into my brush. A little bit of water. Tap my paper towel. And I need a little bit more. And we're going to put this on the bottom of the nose. Walk it up there, and we'll repeat that, but that's a good start for our nose there. Okay, zoom in just a little bit. Let's do the um, eyes and the eyebrows and the mouth. Now, you can paint this in with some black paint, or you can use some um, an identipen, so let me find an identipen that is working fairly well. Now it's important that your paint is completely dry here because if you get any paint in your pen then um, it's not going to work anymore for you. So a little bit of curve on the mouth here. Comes up to the finger and then on the other side. Now um, we can go around the eye and outline the eye. Okay, I'm going to use the fat end and create an eye right here, and I'll have to do this a couple of times. Just a little circle, we're making a pupil here. Okay, we'll do that a couple of times because that's uh, really um, kind of pushed it down in there. We'll go around the nose. Well, I don't think I'm going to go around the nose. It's really just the eyes that I wanted to pop. We can go ahead and float another some more red on our nose at the bottom. It should be dry. Give him 
him or her, whatever your snowman is, a him or her, a cute little red nose, and then a little bit of white on the top of the nose. Okay, that looks super cute. Let's see if my ink will put a second coat on. making this pupil bigger and bigger. So I'm going to have to make this one bigger and bigger. Okay. That looks pretty cute. Uh, then we can add a little highlight of white on the eye. Okay. Oh, he's a cute or she's a cute little snowman. Let's draw on our line for our brim and we're going to finish out the hat and the scarf now. Our snowman is so cute. Okay, I'm going to try a little bit different design here on the hat. I don't know if it's going to work out so well. This is cadmium uh, red and I'm just going to create these little upside down V's on the hat. Along the hat brim here. And I'll start getting a little bit narrower over here. It's not showing up too well on, the, on my uh, monitor, so I hope it's showing up okay for you. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the um, scarf. I'm going to make like little V's, two lines next to each other, coming to a point. Stay off of my snowman. So make sure you keep your damp brush handy. Okay, I'm going to go along the scarf. along the, the tails of the scarf. This one doesn't matter, just make some lines on there. Okay, you can just do lines on yours if you want to. So up here on this area, I'm just going to make some long Similar strokes here. Try and make it look a little like a knitted hat, but I'm not sure how well this is going to translate. Okay, so that is with our cad red. We can put a few strokes up here. Add a few down here. using a two round here. Okay, so that was our first layer. I'm going to mix a little bit of white in my brush. I'm just going to dirty brush right into a little bit of white. And we're going to come back in and put some of this on here. Just rough it in, not um, covering up everything. We're just adding a little a little bit of highlight on here. Okay, 
Okay, just a scooch. Don't, don't get carried away here. You don't have to hit every line, just do some random stuff here. Okay, put a little bit of this up here. And a little bit on the This one, we can add just a couple in there. Move that line there. Okay, I'm going to take my Rookwood Red. Let me get some fresh red out here. And a little bit of Lamp Black. Now, Lamp Black is what you could use in the eyes and to outline the face. So it will be on my palette list if you don't want to use an identipen. So I'm going to take a little bit of Rookwood Red and a little tiny bit of black and just darken up some Rookwood Red. Okay, and we're going to come in here, stay off of the snowman and put this in between and at the bottom of our triangles. So I'm putting it up here and down here. So I'm putting it in the middle of our triangles and where there is a gap between the triangles. This will also become our shading color. A little bit up here, in the middle, up there. So anywhere there's like a V, you're going to place this color. Just that Rookwood Red with a little bit of black. This is very kind of loosey, loosey goosey. Okay, I will put some in the down here, and some up here. Okay, it's looking pretty cute, I think. I think it's looking pretty darn cute. Okay. Uh, let's uh, shade on our hat now, and we're going to shade with that mix of Rookwood Red and a little bit of um, black. Okay, here's my Rookwood Red. Let me get some water on my palette here. I'm just using this flat chisel blender. We just want to darken up the red. I had too much black so I wiped it off on my paper towel and now I'm reloading a little bit of water. I want this to flow very nicely. We're going to go on the left side of the hat or the right side, sorry. <laughs> I flipped it around now it's the left side for me but it's the right side of the hat. bit more black in there. And go along here. Oops, now the face. Wide angle out because I'm already getting you off camera. Okay, grab a little bit of water. I can't tell which side my paint is on. There we go. Some more red, a little tiny bit of black, more water. Okay, make sure this is dry before you go to this next step here. I've 
got my brush tilted up because that's really tight area right there and I don't want my brush going out into my sky All right, as I can get into a more flat position of the brush I'm laying it flat and bringing it over to this corner I'm not sure mine was dry there I think I just removed it so put a little bit back in there Okay, so we've shaded along this side, on the other side of the brim, on the hat part, and a little bit down here. But this could use a little bit more. So if you start shading and you really can't see it, add a little bit more black until you can see it. But we don't want it pure black because we're not um, we're not making a black sh shading here. So I want to come along this edge of the hat. Just take the toe of your brush and kind of push it down in there. Don't let it get um, all over your snowman or all over the background. I put a little bit up here by the ball and a little bit on the ball. Give that a little bit of dimension. We're going to add some more highlight on here in a minute, but we're, right now we're just um, separating everything. Okay. On the toe there, those are small, small areas to the hand. Let's go a little bit by the hand there. Give a little shadow. A little shadow over here. Okay, I'm going to go along the outside edge over here. I definitely need more paint, so let me grab some more on my brush here. And I'm going to put some here because we want to round this edge out. Stop with the face. We want some here. And I'm going to come along and put some next to the um, scarf tassel end thing right there. You just want to make sure everything is dry before you do that. Just a little bit of black. Don't let it get too overly black. Okay, you're just darkening that paint up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go next to the face here just a little bit. Right, I need a little bit more black in the mix here. I'm going to go next to this edge. Okay, so our shadowy side is over here, so we'll get this. Oh, we need some water. It's not, it's not flowing, so it definitely needs water. Right there, a little bit there. A little bit in the background there. Let me clean that up. It's very important to clean up the red because it can be a tough one to clean up. A little bit more black right here in this area. A little more black on my brush would be helpful. That's really shadowed right there. Okay. A little bit more Rookwood Red in my mix here. Grab a drop of water, blend the water and the paint all at the same time, nicely together. Okay, I'm going to go along this edge of the hat to give it a little bit of roundness. Stay off of the 
wider so I'm going to get more water in my brush so my float will go over a little bit more. little bit darker so I'm going to get a little bit more black right here okay so now we just need to highlight on here and our highlight color is going to be neon's fiery red if you don't have neon's fiery red you can go back to your cadmium red and add a little bit more white to it and create that highlight with the white. This is a super bright color and it makes reds really, really pop. So let's put a little bit on here. See how bright that is. Woo, baby. Is that what I have? Fire red. Yep, fire red. Let me erase my line here where my separations were. We don't need that anymore. So we're going to go on the right side over here and add this bright highlight. This is a transparent color. Let's go along the top edge here. Okay, we're keeping it mostly to the left side here. I'm going to go along this one. can do this edge right here and a little bit through the center a little bright highlight okay I want to darken up Take some white and brighten up right here. So this is where you can really take a look at things. We want the face to appear on top. On top of the hat. On top of the scarf. Go back into your hands and add a little bit more if you need to. And a little bit out here. Of course down here we may not see this at all because you know once we put our snow in we may not see that. I've got some red right there on the arm so let's try and cover that up a little bit. looking pretty good. Alright, he's looking pretty cute. You can kind of keep playing around with him for quite a while, but I think he looks pretty good. Pretty darn cute. Let's take our little detail brush and add some of that neons on here, and here, and up here. Okay. All right, that finishes out our little snowman. So let's add a tree over here on the other side, a wide angle out. And we're going to keep this kind of all in blues and stuff. The tree's going to be a little, you know, in the shadows. So um, we're going to keep it blue. We're going to try and keep it a simple tree. So we're going to get out our blues. Before I do that, actually, I think I'm going to take my neon red and a tiny bit of white. 
That's going to make it a little bit more opaque and add a bright little highlight. This is a tiny little bit of white. white added to added to it and just gives it a little bit of pop so I think that helped a lot for our little snow guy he's a cutie I think he's a cutie okay and then you can come back with a final bright highlight of white if you prefer to have it even brighter on there um, I'm not sure that I will like that, but you can add that on there if you would like to. So just come in with a little don't quite want mine to be that big. Just some little areas. Little, little. That's a little more in the shadowy side, so I think I'll take that off right there. That white highlight that's there. Because I don't think we really need that. That's a little more on the shadowed side, so let's keep it shadowed. Alright, I think we're looking pretty good right there. I'm liking the snowman. I think the highlights are very nice. All right, we're going to go back to our um, uh, Mezzaluna, my extra large one, or if you're using any other type of scruffy brush, or you can use a flat brush, an old worn out brush, um, any kind of brush that you have. I'm going to load with Deep Midnight Blue. And we're going to bring our tree out. We're not going to see the whole tree. We're only going to see part of the tree, so we're just going to start tapping in our tree. And it's got some long branches in through here. Definitely going to have to have a lot more. Midnight, deep midnight blue is the color I'm using. Midnight blue will be fine. See, we're creating a little bit of a side view of a tree here just by tapping. This is the undercoat of our tree. And we're going to take it all the way down. We'll bring it down to about there because we're going to be adding some other layers in here and we're going to be layering up our blues. That looks pretty good. So now I'm going to take my uh, brush and I'm going to just wipe out all of that dark color. We want a dirty brush into our next color 
so that it gives us uh, our next value up instead of a big jump into a lighter color. So I'm just removing um, as much of the paint as I can, but there's still some in there to blend with our next color. So I'm going to pick up my um, Wedgwood Blue, Williamsburg Blue, okay, and load it onto this brush. I'm going to offload just a little bit of it, and I'm going to begin tapping this color in here. This is kind of the color we used in the background. So I won't use too awful much of this one. Now down here it will show a little bit better. Up here it's just going to make it blend into the background a little bit. So there's a second layer on there. We're not covering up all that we did before. I'm going to put a little bit of dark stuff in there. Okay, we're not covering up all of our dark that we did before, okay? Because we want to see open spots in our tree. And we're going to add snow on here too, so we want to be sure and not cover up all of our dark. All right, so wipe off that paint. And we're going to go into our um, Blue Haven. And it's going to mix a little bit with that paint that's still in our brush. And we're going to start tapping in some of this color in here. And creating another layer on our tree. Anytime that you feel like you've lost the previous color or maybe even the very first dark color, um, just simply go back and add some in. I mean, if you need to get a different brush to do that, then go ahead. I'm going to keep this a little darker along this edge here. I'm going to be um, shading that to uh, push that edge back a little bit. All right, I'm going to clean this brush because I want to add some white next. So I'm going to remove a lot of the paint out of it. I'm still going to have some paint in there to blend a little bit with the white. I'm going to load with my white. Tap a little bit over here. And this is where I want to concentrate a little bit more, maybe where the snow is laying. the tree limbs. In some areas it will pile up a little bit more than other areas. You're just going to work your way down your tree. Okay, I'm going to come back with a second layer of white on here. Because it will probably have a little bit less of that blue in it. And stand a little bit brighter on the tree. Just tapping the tops of those little areas that I put in, give them a little bit of a highlight. Okay. So it looks like our snow has some trees, our tree has some snow on it. And that looks really cute. I'm going to wipe my brush off and load a little bit of that. Um, 
Blue Haven. Oh my gosh, my brain is just not working. And bring some of this out here. And that way our tree is not um, stopping quite so abruptly into that shadowed area. Pick up a little bit of white. I thought I would leave that shadowed back there, but it didn't quite look right, so we can shadow on top of it. Okay, it's looking pretty good, I think. Some nice little clusters of snow on our tree. It looks so pretty. So pretty. Okay, so if you're done with this brush, you can you can wash it out. Um, if you think you want to come back and add more white, you may want to just um, clean it out, wipe the paint out, and clean it out with some hand sanitizer. Because um, really, you could use this brush along for the snow as well along the bottom, which is what I should have done. So let me grab a different brush here. Okay, let's add some snow on the ground here. So if you've got another scruffy brush. If not, let yours dry or try and get as much moisture out as you can. Um, if you want to add a little bit of the um, Blue Haven into it to create a lighter blue, you can. Um, I'm just going to come in here and start kind of scumbling. Just kind of scuffing it on along here. I'm going to create my horizon line kind of back in here. Keep it off of my snowman. So I want this to go across here, but I mean, if it doesn't, it's no big deal because, you know, you can, um, there can be like some little mountains back in there if you want to. Oh, no, 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 no. Big no, no. You gotta get that red off of there. We do not want red snow. No, 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 no. So I need to put my white somewhere that's not beside the red. I know I got my brush wet, but I'm gonna get as much moisture out as I can and work with it the best I can. Okay, back to my brush here. All right, scumble, 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 scumble. We're gonna put some snow kind of piled up. Work it around our tree. We're going to work it around our snowman, just kind of scumbling it and piling it up. And it's not a big area here, so you don't have to, um, you know, worry too much about it. Bring this out here, a little bit back here. That's it. Kind of needs to fade away a little bit back there. We don't need to see that big, huge. All right, I'm going to bring a little bit up through here. Our snowman is really in the snow. So I don't want to see a bunch of. Uh, oh, I didn't keep my damp brush in my hand. Alright, just give it a little tap and a little, a little floof. just using white here. I'm not using any other color. Okay. Now if you want to create some dark uh, values in your snow, some shadowy areas, I'm going to pick up a little bit of the Wedgwood Blue and then wipe off and come in here and you can create some little darker areas in here. Just by tapping a little bit of the blue and then come back and tap a little white on top of those um, areas that you're creating some little shadows with and that will really push those shadows into that snow. Okay, so that is some little shadows in the snow. 
like I got red all over my snowman right there. So I'm going to load some white onto my brush now and tap a little bit on top of those shadowy areas. And that'll keep them from standing on top and push them back a little bit. We'll still have them, but they won't be quite so bright. Okay, so we've got a few little shadows in there. Um, let's come in and put a little shadow on our snowman here. You can use Wetwood Blue or Deep Midnight Blue. I think I'll stick primarily with the Wedgwood Blue on my brush. And we'll shade a little bit right through here. I did get some red on my snowman there. And that will help push the snowman behind the snow. Just a little bit more here and there. Okay, that looks really good. Need my angle brush. I was going to shade along this edge of the tree, but now that I look about at it, I think I'm not going to. I think I'm done um, stippling in my snow, so I am going to clean this brush. And let's put a bright star in the sky up here. I was going to put a red bird in the tree, but I think I won't do that. I think I'd rather have a little bright star up here. Let's put a few up here. Okay, I didn't do that one very good at all, so I'm going to take that one off. That looks terrible. Okay, if it comes over onto the snowman a little bit. Oops, stuck my hand in the snow that wasn't dry. And let's do this one up here. Still undecided if I'm going to do a um, cardinal in the tree. I kind of feel like it needs a cardinal in the tree. So let me think about that. All right, I'm going to put a little cardinal, I think, on this tree branch. Because when I think of winter, I always think of a cardinal. So just grab your um, round brush. A cardinal is incredibly easy to paint. So we're just going to paint in a little egg shape here. And then around part for the head, and then maybe some tail feathers coming off the back here. They're very, very easy to, to paint. We're not going to worry about feet. We're not going to get tons of detail on here. So uh, we're not going to worry too much about how it looks. I'm going to add a beak um, with some black. zoom you in just a little bit so maybe you can see it a little bit better. So let's add a little beak right here. Okay, 
and then cardinals have like a mask thing on their face and we want to see that part so it's um the beak actually needs to be a lighter color so i'm gonna change my beak to a cad red but there's a little bit of black i need some water in my brush it's next to the beak down here on the bottom part of the neck. Okay, you probably can't even see that. This bird is so little. I definitely could have made him bigger. Let me clean my brush and make the beak a lighter color. So I'm going to take the cad red and a little bit of white and a little bit of rookwood red. Their beak's really kind of an orangey color. So we'll just make it a little light color there that we can't really see. Okay, let's make the pointy hair on it. That will probably help us a little bit. Make sure you're on camera here. Get a fine detail liner if you can't control a round brush very well. So we're just going to put some fine little hairs spiky stuff coming off the top of the head there okay this tail feathers a little bit longer little bit more black on his face here and then we'll start adding some highlights on here. Can we tell that's a, a bird yet? All right let's go into our um, cadmium red and we're going to Put some of this on our bird. Start creating some highlights on here. Definitely need to thin it with some water. It's not wanting to flow off of my brush, so let's add some water in there. A fine detail liner might be a good idea here. Okay, I'm trying not to cover up all of the Rookwood Red. It's kind of hard to do, but... Alright, pick up a little bit of white in my brush and mix it with that red. Okay, I'll put a little bit of this in. Just a few little highlight strokes here. This bird should really not require a lot of work. Okay, let's go to our neons red here, and we're going to add some of that on. Too much in my brush. And this might be just a tad too much, so I'm going to touch back with my finger. Do a little float here um, under the wing with some uh, rookwood and a little bit of black mixed in. Okay, that will give a little dot to the eye. Maybe a little white highlight on the um, top of the head and the wings. First, I want to put in the eye. <laughs> Let me go into my white here. A little tiny highlight. Well, maybe I don't want to put it on the beak because that's going to blend in with the background. A little bit right through here. 
touch back with my finger. I don't want that to be incredibly bright. And then a little teeny tiny dot on the eye. This needs to be a little bitty dot. Too much water in my brush. That's a pretty big dot, so we're going to add some black next to that to cover that up. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. can't see the feet so we're not going to worry about the feet. I'm not sure we can tell that's a cardinal <laughs> but it is. I'm going to take a little bit of my cadmium red maybe mix a little bit of Brookwood with it. I don't want it to get too dark but I want to make this little transparent color on here with some water so maybe I can get this bird to come a little more red. Okay. So he is not the prettiest of cardinals, but he's on there. And he was super easy. So He's on that little branch of snow right there. We can't see his feet. <laughs> They're turned away from us. The little dot in his eye is completely gone. So I'm going to see if I can't put it back in there. Oh, let me find a little, little, little tiny, tiny, tiny liner. I know I have one somewhere. Try and grab that little dot of white. There we go. That's better. That worked out so much better. So let me see if I can adjust the, the hair with this liner. see if I can adjust the black a little bit around the face. It goes around the eye, so... The eye is just this little dot that's there. It's just there. Okay, I could play around with this for a while, but I'm going to stop. Okay, so that's going to be our little cardinal in the tree. You can make it a chickadee, um, whatever you would like. But I think this turned out super cute. It's a super fast, easy project, um, and you can brighten up uh, the snowman more if you want, but I really like that snowman being in the shadow and, um, you know, just catching a little glimpse of that cardinal in the winter, because cardinals in the winter for me uh, always um, mean that company has uh, come to visit you, um, means a loved one is there to say hi, and so I always love to see a cardinal in the winter. So I think that is going to finish up this project. Um, I really love how it turned out. You can certainly tweak it as much as you would like and have fun with it. I am going to actually do a little tweaking right here under the hat. A little bit darker with the 
deep midnight blue. There we go. That looks much better. And let's go right here and add a little bit. And right here. Just a tiny little bit in some of them shadowy areas. Deep midnight blue. Don't don't let it get carried away. I've got a little bit still on my brush. I can add it out here to the back side of the snowman. And there we go. Just a little tweaking of dark, dark color here. Deep midnight. So this is where you take a look at it and the eyebrows a little too far over that way, but uh, it's going to have to do. All right. I think we're looking pretty good here. I'm just looking for some deep areas that I can put some of that deep midnight blue in. Give the painting a little bit more depth to it. bit right there. Kind of lost my shape. All right, yeah, that that just little touch, tiny little touch of deep midnight blue on the snowman helped quite a bit. So, and I just put that in the darkest areas like right up there, over here a little bit on each side of the hand, right here and here, back here and a tiny bit right there. And uh yeah, that got it. Got it just great. I love it. I think he's adorable. So thank you guys so much for painting with me. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Give me a thumbs up if you have liked it. And please share and comment. And uh, it all helps me grow my channel so I can continue to bring all these amazing paintings to you because I really love to paint and I love to teach others to paint. So I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.